Oh, you you thought you guys thought it was done. You guys thought, oh, you know, Kingdoms and Castles has been a few days. Definitely not coming back to the channel. You are out of your minds. I'm ready. Are you ready? Of course we're ready. Because we're doing it. That's what we're doing. What is it that we're doing? It. How are we doing it? Doing it. Then that's really all we re Oh my god, the minimap got an update. It's gorgeous. What does this do? Allow map rotation. I don't want it to be rotated. Uh, am I am I rotating it? What happens if I do that? Oh, oh, oh. I don't I don't want it to be rotated. I want it to look like this. I want it to be a globe. Aha! And just like all good globes, they're always centered on the state of Florida because it's awesome. Why? Because I live there and duh. Anyway, Kingdoms and Castles is back. We've got the Southern Fortress. We've got the Northern Fortress. We're working on the Sea Fortress. Look at that. Gotta come through the hot gates. Why is every narrow pass the hot gates for me? Because I have a problem. That's why. Hello, Poro. All right. I have something important to talk about. I've ruled my... Whoa. Hold on. I've ruled my people for a long time. It's time for me to step down and pass my crown to another. Oh my God. I think of you as a dear friend in our kingdoms as one. It would be a great honor if you would take over for me and rule over my kingdom. Oh my God. What? I can accept... Can I, can I save? If I press escape, I'm worried that I'll, it'll cancel out of this option. I want to point out that throughout the history of this series, whenever she asked for anything, I said no. <laughs> other than just to talk. Um, yeah. I mean, we just got boop. Wow. We have a, hun a humble kingdom over here. I... <sighs> I don't know what to do. Farewell, my friend. What do you mean, Poro? Where are you going? Are you sailing off into like the west? The west? Uh, that was probably the craziest thing I've experienced. So yeah, here is our kingdom. It's actually pretty humble. Like, let's pause and take away the UI. What do we got? Not an optimized farmland. Not an optimized city structure. Aqueducts everywhere. <laughs> what are you... What are you, Poro, honey, what are you, what are you doing over here? What, I wish before you left, I would have been able to better understand what the heck you were thinking. But it, it, it doesn't really matter because we own three out of the five island chains. Uh, I mean, I could have said no, and then we would have had another little empire. I mean, this is actually a lot to manage. Guys, we were gifted a kingdom by the AI. Derek McDonough said in the last video that we need this series to continue and I do need an army. And then they, they mentioned uh, colony survival as a potential game to bring back. Merchant ship, what do I, what do, I do? Start, there we go. Just do that thing, merchant ship. Hungry, my house has no food. Wait, whoa! <laughs> Why? Why is there no food here? We have plus 278. Okay, I, I think it's just an alpha bug. Look, you want to know the origin of, like, the kingdom of toast? Because whenever people got hungry, they just said, we want bread. And I, I said it was toast. And literally, that is the origin story. I mean, this is such a weird little town, the way they set it up. Not efficient, not optimized at all. But you know what? And then I think at some point we're going to be getting some food back. Hopefully not everybody dies of starvation because we have the food here. It's just not in the storehouses. Mikey's World. We need a new uh, a new name for this. This island. Okay, so let's think. And this is where you guys come in and be the heroes in the comments and it's awesome. And you guys tell me like Wonky said jam is tasty in a quotations from Sun Tzu <laughs> The Art of Toast. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. What, look at all this beautiful farmland over here. What's going on? That's that's where we got to be growing stuff, fellers. We've got our little colony we started. And then we got our main island. And, and you know what? We need an army because I think at some point we need to invade this. That's the goal. So if we need an army, well, you know what they say. If you need an army, you got to go get one. Sun Tzu, the art of armies. So here's our barracks. Train a swordsman squad. We're training them now, my liege. And we need a lot of stuff but eventually we will get that army and here's the fun part you can build uh i think a transport ship yeah transport military units on a transport ship duh i, I gotta mix up with a cargo ship we, there's four ships and i think there's a little bit of redundancies in them but you know what who am i to judge what's this what he's sending me a present hello i see you're the most powerful man in the land please don't crush me with your army uh my good sir i cannot make any promises that i can't keep because those would be not promises but lies my friend lies all right, sell it all. Sell it all, my lord. Let's see. I guess we actually need the weapons and stuff now. 
So that was only a hundred bucks, but you know what? They passed through the sea gates. Look at this. We actually have what you'd call a traffic jam, I think. We've only got the two gates. Oh, okay. What, whose boat is this? It's a transport ship. Wait a minute. I already have a transport ship. I knew that. All right, so if the barracks is here, we'll want to move the transport ship up north. Holy biscuits, the Vikings are invading, my lord. The foreign envoy is en route, and so be it the Vikings. Wait, what's going on? What's this? Oh, he, he came over here. The King de Genis. We have a message. Greetings. We're thinking of you recently, and we've prepared a gift. Thank you. I will accept thine gift. Oh, now he's treating me as like a different person. He's like, I used to talk to you over there. I still do, but I used to too. All right, Vikings gonna be invading. Them Vikings, they never stop, my lord. Where would a nice tower go? Oh, we got wolves. Yeah, but I, I mean, this this is uh, much, much better defended. Like, look, we got the southern fort. We could even... What was that sound? Let's go ahead and build a, a ballista on this point. It's got pretty good range. All right, so yeah, they landed right in front of the southern fortress. At some point, we'll wall it off, but I like it. It makes it very difficult. They got to pass this tower. So we've killed one and a half of the three armies, aka 58%. Then they got to come here and pass the double gated bridge or, you know, do what they do where they just walk around it and die. So we, we killed that invasion fleet. I want trebuchets and catapults, right? The northern fort is smaller than the southern fort, but you know, it's compact, it's nice, and we're working on this wall to defend the farmlands. But now we've got this whole aspect to think of called these guys. Where is your food? Like there's no reason for you to not be producing food. Hold on. What I gotta know is did we encounter a bug? I know that there's a Viking invasion and it's supposed to be taking up all of my time and attention, but oh my God, this place is so poorly defended. We have four towers, but they're well, all centered over there. We have nothing on what would be what? The Northeast side. There's the food. Okay, it is registering. Okay, so we should be able to get food. Then what we need to do is build a fortress right here to protect against Viking invasions. That would be the single best. Okay, we got a tower here. So we got more than the four towers. We have five, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towers. You're burning everything. Wait a minute. Where's the job priority and why is there no archers firing? <gasps> what? What are you guys doing? Not defending your island. I don't know what Queen Pora was up to, but I, I have this nagging suspicion that her whole plan was, you know what? I'm a terrible ruler. I'm gonna go retire to the Caribbean. Here you go, Baron. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks for not ever sending me aid, you nerd. Like, I believe that's really what she wanted to say. And then you have this small little island. Yeah, we're gonna invade it. I think that will be the uh, end of this series, and I think I want to make one where, excuse me, the end of this chapter. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just delete all this. Look at this, man. I love this fortress. I think what we'll do is we will create a ballista on the northwest tower of the northern fortress. Yeah, but uh, what, uh, what I think would be cool, oh, we got two dragons? Two baby dragons, got it. No big dragons yet, no big ones. Not a game, not a game. One peasant died of starvation, oh my God. Trauma from recent Vikings, food shortages, for whatever reason, it ain't it ain't good. So I think what we need, this is a military transport ship. I think I need to put a ship here. 31 food, that's not a lot of food, but we need to feed these people. So it's time to make more farms. Grid, I love the grid system. And if that's the case, we'll probably want another tower here. Yeah, man, Viking invasions are kind of tricky. Oh man, that ballista just sniped somebody. Did big, big damage. But at some point, I feel like the threat of Viking invasion, at least with what they have, sort of diminishes, and even the dragons as well. And I, I would love a little bit more variety in terms of what you'd call, I would say, the crises, right? The crises? <laughs> I think that's actually how you pronounce it. Like, this, this whole island has a single tower. <laughs> There's a giant fire. Oh, because the dragon's burning it, because we have no dragon killing towers in the area. This is such like, oh my God, what's going on? It gives me anxiety just looking at it. Yeah, everyone's just dying from starvation. 10 idle people. I guess what we could do, like, I. I don't understand, because look at this. We have plus 328 food produced. There's no reason for it to do this. Unless, of course, a merchant ship is selling it all. We'll destroy the ship. Scuttle the ship. A lot of craziness happening. Okay, no dragon killing ballista in the middle of town, and we lose some of our farms. Is there a well to put this out? Don't we have a fire brigade? I bought a fire brigade. I bought the tower. Yeah, it's right here. Hello. You just want the fire put out? I must fulfill my slayer oath. I don't know why I went for like, oh, rebuild. Yeah, let's rebuild it while it's on fire. 
It's called science, guys. Uh, I think. A lot of stuff. What's going on here? And how come I sort of have vision on it? Because I think what we need to do is have a series where we, like, we take all of the knowledge here that we learned, mostly from things we did poorly that we could have done better, and then put them into a new super series, I think. But I think before that, here we go. Do you guys want me to colonize this island and then invade this one? Or do we just invade this one and call it a day? Lots of decisions. We're going to create a D-Day invasion of our own. Four peasants have left the kingdom. Yeah, because you know what? Everyone's freaking dying over here, Mike. Okay, you know what? I think I have a I have a, a suspicion that there must be something else that's not being done right. Dock workers, granary workers. We'll put those windmill workers above librarians. Toast is more important than books, my lord. Orchardists and farmers. I mean, we have 49 farmers, right? How is this happening? I never understand the food situations in this game. Speaking of which, have I built my boat? Yes. You shall come here and you shall pick up grain. We'll do 20. I, I didn't press the uh, the button. 20? Check. This is where it gets tricky. All right, where's the dock? There's the dock. And go. Lend aid to our other kingdom. Are you... Hmm. For whatever reason, you went there first. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Maybe I got the dots mixed up. Yeah, everyone else is fine. Queen Poro. She kept sending me gifts and then left me an impoverished kingdom. <laughs> I mean, there's different AI types. So I think what we'll do is next time we will, uh, we'll decide on the AI types together. I think that would be far more fun. All right, but we do need more food there, mate. You know, we need apples. We need apples. We like them a lot. These crunchy and red. Some are green and some are definitely not blue, but we like them. Could put some apple farms over here. Oh, we just follow them. I don't know exactly what I need to do. I just know people is dying. I ain't got any bread, mate. Guess one thing we could do is a windmill. Here? I mean, we got the idle people, right? No, we don't, because people are dying, of course. But what we will do is they'll be high enough to where the lower things won't be given anything. Stockpile workers, event planners, we <laughs> ain't no need events. Don't need masons right now. Librarians could definitely drop down. You know, people are dying, man. You don't need to read books when you're dying. It's just, that's just, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a fact. Sun Tzu said it in The Art of Dying. Would you be willing to open your docks to trade? Yeah. Oh my gosh, now he wants to trade with me because the other lady's gone. Prices per resource. All right, so I'm happy here and he's not happy if it's over there. So then I want to be on these lines, I think. I'm not certain, but like, am I, am I off my rocker? Oh, what? These prices are outrageous. Here's what I'll trade. Uh, sure. Doesn't really matter. I don't think I want to be doing a ton of trading. I want to be doing a ton of invading. Oh yeah, where's our army? Here's our army. We are creating the army. Oh, you're coming over here to these docks, eh? Wait, is that not my boat? Is this his boat? He swam to the boat. I don't know. I don't understand these things. We could have the sea fortress right here. I think I like that idea a lot. We'll turn this into a fort. Raising an army and a navy. Those are really our objectives. We're preparing to go to war. Also trying to solve the food crisis of Mikey's world, which we need to rename. All right, so I think the issue is if I put a farm here, I'm gonna need a granary. Do I put it next to the graveyard? And I don't want it on this like beautiful arable farmland. Put it there. Put it there, partner. And then we want at least one tower protecting this side. Merchant, where are you? Okay, what can I, you know what I could do? Ooh, a special item. Definitely. Armor piercing ballista technology, AKA the dragon killer. Let's buy, you have any food for me? Yeah. We're buying all of that food. Boom, look at that. Now we can sell. What do we want to sell? Got a ton of wood. Try to recoup some of our losses. We have a lot of uh, charcoal and a fair amount of iron. A lot of weapons. Are we not producing any tools? Look at that, I actually netted, well, a profit if you don't consider the dragon killing ballista tech. So I think that should definitely help with the food shortage issue over here. Three peasants are in good health. Everyone else is dying of starvation. Well, I think those three people live in the castle. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool the way they did it. They put, they definitely run their aqueducts over their little uh, paths, which is efficient for space, but I don't think the aqueducts themselves are efficient. Yeah, so look at this. She wants to get water. The aqueducts goes through towers? That's cool. Hefe. Let's do that. I think this could... Oh, I'm out of uh, stuff. What am I out of? I'm out of stone. Oh, you know what? Bribe them with happiness. Watch the men fight the bears. All right, so we got our army. We're building the sea fort. Kind of low on people. Could definitely do with some more people in town. I'm thinking what we're going to do is actually redesign this side of town. 
so that I can fit two more houses or two more manors on each of these squares. We'll put a well right there and right there. How is everything else going? Over here, great. Over here, not very great. Oh my god, they're being taxed at 30%? What were you doing over here? I think we'll do a 15%. That way we, <laughs> we produce so much money. She's just taxing the crap out of them. I want to do something totally unnecessary here. I'm going to have a water path. And then the idea is to use stone bridges. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Maybe I'll put a secret library over here that's only accessible this way. Man, we are out of stone across the kingdom. Wait a minute. According to this map, I think they have a, a small military presence. Do they? Do they have a barracks? Yes, they do. They have a small army. This is broken. I don't think they have masons. I would say the easiest way to land and do damage in my empire is to land on this coast. We don't have a castle or anything. Is the food crisis fixed? Yeah, and actually we're at 74 happiness. The bathhouses are crowded. You need another bathhouse? I guess we could put one over here. There's a lot of aqueducts everywhere. Just can't really afford it. Need a lot of stone for that. All right, what do you have to say, Mr. Dude? Hey, dude. Hey, I'm Genghis Khan. Or Guinness. You know what Guinness rhymes with? Just had the most delicious fish dinner. Oh my god, now this guy's talking to me? Man, these people are just gonna... What is your favorite food of your kingdom? Fish. Because I know you like fish. Sucker! <laughs> Goodbye. Although, a nice smoked mullet from, uh, is always great, by the way. Although I did have salmon for lunch. I'm trying to eat more fish. Try to be a little healthier. So maybe this guy, you know, in his old age, he's like, I need to be healthy. I'm gonna eat me some fish. And I'm like, dude, I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm 98 years old myself. Yeah, I think the objectives before we... Oh! There's the fire! Oh man, we're still starving. I'm starving like Marvin, girl. Oh, this could be a nice little orchard patch. This is such a weird kingdom, but it's still pretty impressive that there's like AI kingdoms, you know what I mean? I'm gonna put the produce storage here, because it's just on a bear patch. A bear? Oh yeah, and we wanted to complete the aqueducts. I feel like that was just one of her things she wanted to do. You know, she told me that before she died. There we go. And that, all this pressure should be able to fill the rest of this to get it all the way over here. I don't know why we need to do that, but we're doing it. How are people doing over here? Good enough. Yeah, I, I, we produce iron super slowly. We'll get another one. Another one. Yeah, so this is what I got going on. I, I built this totally unnecessary pathway to whatever I want to put here. There's going to be something cool here. Maybe the secret library. Where is actually is the closest library? Actually, that makes sense. We could put a clinic, but we're going to put a secret library. Boom. Cool. Totally unnecessary. We have 60 idle people. Hot dog. Whatever would we do with them? I thought about creating a little northern farm up here. Oh yeah, and didn't we want to run a wall from here to here? We did. You know what? We will create the Great Wall. It'll take forever. Merchant ship over here. Could always use your food. 307. Wow, a thousand in food. Boop! Now what can we sell back? Sell all of the resources we can except for stone? See if we can't get it close to a thousand. Eh. 694. Not terrible, not good. Did we get the water pressure yet? Oh, it's almost done. There it is. And look, water pressure all the way over here to this Noria. Fantastic. Now, what is the... Oh, that's the barracks. We could always move that to the fortress area and create a bathhouse. But then there's two bathhouses. Relatively close. A lot, of, a lot of things to consider. Oh, you know what? That's why. But I wonder if you could make this a little bit more mythological, right? Because right now, you have dragons. But what if you had, like, sea serpents or krakens? Uh, other invading forces other than just Vikings. Maybe it would have to be kingdoms and castles, too. Here's a question. And I, you know what? Th this is a very important question. And this, I would love to be able to show this to the developers and be like, hey, people love your stuff, okay? How many of you would buy a Kingdoms and Castles 2, okay? That's a big question. And, and here we go. To follow that up, if there was a Kingdoms and Castles 2, what would you want in it? Oh, it looks like I totally missed this wall section. We could put a gate here. Because obviously you'd keep all the core tenants and things that we love about regular Kingdoms and Castles, but add a bunch of stuff. There's actually a game that I sort of see that looks very... That reminds me of Kingdoms and Castles. It definitely has a different scope to it and, uh, you know, some unique things, but it reminds me of it. Such a weird way of running your aqueducts. What were you gonna put here? Oh, you know what? We could turn this into farmland just by creating a Noria right here. How funny is that? What you got for me, old man? How many times do I gotta tell you this, old man? Yeah, Vikings cause damage. How about... Nope. How about that? See, I tell him I like fish, and he's like, all right, dude, we're cool with that. 
I think over time they'll refine the AI. Remember, we're in very early alpha for the AI update. Well, we finally got ahead of the food crisis and I tell you what, oh, that's why. So we would be at 87, which is sort of the happiness I can get, but they're excited for life under the new ruler. I guess I solved their food crisis and did some other things and they're big fans of that. Interesting. They're like, yeah, maybe you can do some better city planning. <laughs> Allow map resizing. How do I do that? Oh! Oh, that's cool. Okay, I actually want the map like that big. That's pretty sweet. 61 idle people. What are we gonna do with them all? Join the army today. Oh, you know what? Speaking of military, we haven't really looked at that. Archer school and a siege workshop. No oh way. Okay, we need the proper military training area. This will be our military training area. Cut all the wood down. Don't anger the Ents, though. This actually is a risky proposition. You never know when- Oh, there we go. Kingdoms and Castles 2 is more fantastical. Would it be more Lord of the Rings? I don't know. Or would it be more like, kind of like, classical era? Romans, Egyptians, Greeks, with their gods and deities. Possibilities everywhere. Nicely done, boys. Oh, yeah, let's chop that to get a path going there. All right, so we have to create all of the military things. However, that will create this a terrible plague has swept the land. Maybe we'll get another hospital. We have a hospital here. We'll probably need one in the north part of town. We'll put it here. Right next to the tavern? No, that would be kind of uh, not fun. Put it here. A great hall. I want a siege workshop. I mean, I don't need the siege workshop first, that's for sure. Dang, this thing's a big boy. All right, I've got two divisions. An entire legion of my best men. Look at these unfinished paths. How, how peculiar. I think may of the problem be is that actually this is where they're storing most of the iron. Yeah, I think I'm storing it here and then we're shipping it back home, I think is what we're doing. Maybe that's why I have no iron. What other mega engineering projects haven't we done? We haven't done the Great Library or the Jousting Arena. Dang, this thing's big. And it covers... It's huge. That actually might be the biggest thing. How big is the uh, Great Library? I can't even build it, so we don't know. Is there a hospital on this island? We have a few clinics. Actually... Clinics and libraries. A few treasuries spread out. Helter Skelter. Oh, we just built it so we can build a catapult. Heck yeah. And then we're going to want to build an archery school. Uh, I never made a hall of diplomacy, actually. We should probably work on one of those, too. Just to experiment it with before we plan the invasion. But things have gone well. I mean, quite literally, we had an entire kingdom handed to us. So pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy this episode of Kingdoms and Castles. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you do want to see more. And remember the key questions of the day. One, what do we name this new colony? Two, what would you like to see if there ever was a Kingdoms and Castles 2? Because, I mean, these guys, they created a knockout game. They've continued to update it. I'm, I'm curious to see if they're working on anything else or if they're thinking about a Kingdoms and Castles 2. But maybe if we give them enough love and attention and say, hey, we want it, it might convince them. You never really know. I don't. I'd love to see a Kingdoms and Castles 2. But anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.